Good afternoon, everyone. It's Yanni, and today's video is 1 Corinthians 3 7. It doesn't matter who plants or who waters, God is the only one that makes it grow. So I'm just going to go over that verse, and if you all have your Bibles, you can go over it with me as well. So 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 7, and it reads It's not important who does the planting or who does the watering. What's important is that God makes the seed grow. Let me read that one more time. It's not important who does the planting or who does the watering. What's important is that God makes the seed grow. So he's the one. Then I had jotted down some notes because I was praying over that scripture. And I just wanted some more detail in regards to what to speak on, what points um, to make in regards to that verse. So I prayed and then the Lord, from what he was saying to me, this is what I got from it. So I just wrote it down of my interpretation of what he was basically um, making out of that. And it said, it is not important who plants or who waters, only Elohim makes it grow. Therefore, we are not to get caught up in making people feel the word which starts inside a person. That's God's business and his job. People think they can do the king's job. They condemn, mock, and scoff and persecute his people. Yeshua doesn't do that, nor does Elohim, nor does the Holy Spirit. What gives a person, a human being, the right to sit in the seat of judgment and play God? Judgment will be upon those at the time of judgment. We are disciples of Yeshua and children of Elohim, led by the Holy Spirit. We are to spread the gospel to all nations and people throughout the earth. We are to cast out demons, pray for healing, and heal the sick. All that we heard our Lord and Savior do, we can do by faith with power and authority from Jesus Christ. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us not our own might, remember that. So that was what I gathered from what the Lord was telling me. And then I just put it into words of the message that I got from that. And that is what I got from that. Now, also in the discussion, because I was bringing up some points to the Lord and saying, you know, why do people you know, uh, point fingers at other people when we're supposed to be in the body of Christ? Why are they making a big deal about, you know, certain things when we're all, we all are like, it's like a tree. We're all, we all have parts to do. There's branches on the tree. We all have a part to do and play in the body of Christ so that the message is going to get delivered to whomever it needs to go, wherever the Lord sends us. So, the one, there'll be one person, not one person does planting, seeding, and make it grow. As the word says, it's clearly one person is going to plant that seed, but you're not there to make it, uh, you know, grow. And you're not there to water it. Somebody else is going to do that. But if you find in the body of Christ, sometimes there are, you know, members or people who feel like they're they're the all in all or they're doing everything or they're supposed to be the head of everything and, and it's like we're a team we are a unit um in the body of christ we are brothers and sisters there is a um camaraderie if you will supposed to be where we are all on the same page and we recognize spirit recognize spirit so if you have the holy spirit then that holy spirit is going to recognize the jesus the holy spirit and god in you and know that we are all on the same team. It's like if you're playing the sport or something, we all on the same team. So there shouldn't be any division. There shouldn't be any, there shouldn't be. But again, we're on earth. It's not perfect. But in the body of Christ, we got to get this right. We have to be on the same team. We have to be able to pass the ball or whatever it is because everybody has a job and you don't have the same gift and ability Um that the Lord needs it to do than that other person. You might set up the ball and then somebody else might spike it. So we have to get on the same page. There is not a one man band. There is not, um, you know, um, a one, one person that is all like people used to say, I think they used to say there's no I in team or something like that. It's the same when if I'm messing it up, forgive me. I'm, 
old. <laughs> but at any rate, it's similar to that is that meaning that there's not just one person. There's a bunch of us that make up that. And as what the word says is that someone will plant, somebody else will water, but only, only God will make it grow. Only God can go to the place that us as human beings, we cannot go. So we can't make them feel it. We can't make people understand it. We can preach it. We can pray for them, but their uh, wisdom and knowledge that comes from the Lord, our God. And that is our part. But if you've planted the seed, somebody else will come along that he has a seasoned or whatever it is, and they will they will water it, but he will ultimately and only be the one that makes it grow. So stop trying to make it grow when that's not your job. That's not my job, and that's not the next person's job. Our job is to put that message out there, you know, and in regards to representing the Lord our God well, that um, whoever comes up to bat next, then they're going to do their part. And then finally, when it's time in God's own timing, he will make that seed grow that has been planted and that has been watered within that person. So remember that. God bless you all. This is Liani.